Hello everyone, this is RB Online, and today I'm bringing you the first episode of my new series, Airsoft for Beginners. So first of all, what is Airsoft? Airsoft is a military simulation sport, which uses real and cloned military gear, as well as firearm imitation devices, which we refer to as Airsoft replicas. Generally, Airsoft games can be classified into four categories, that is, one, speedball or speedsoft, two, Skirmish, 3. Strike Ball or Strike Soft, 4. Milsom, Speed Ball or Speed Soft. Generally, this is a very high speed game. It has a very short time limit and a very simple objective. It mostly focuses on the physical endurance of the player and teamwork under stress. Generally, this category is considered special in that it is played from beginner all the way to advanced level. Second category is Skirmish. Skirmish is the type of game you'd go to your first time playing Airsoft. These games have a time limit between 10 and 30 minutes. They have an objective and they are generally average paced. Players range from beginner to intermediate and you may see some players arrive just with a replica, a magazine and normal civilian clothes. Third category Strike Ball or Strike Soft. Generally these games last between 10 minutes and 1 hour. They have a much more complex objective than skirmish which may include a map and you cannot show up to one of these games in civilian clothing you must have full uniform players who take part in this category would be the higher end beginners all the way to advanced fourth category milsim or military simulation milsim games will generally last from a few hours to a few days they will have a very complex objective which may change over time it will also have very structured military units in the form of sections, platoons and companies. You definitely cannot show up to one of these games in civilian clothing and players who participate in such games are generally referred to as intermediate to advanced. Please note that these categories do not take into account environmental factors in that a skirmish can take part in a city, in a CQB area. This is the same for all the categories. We'll be talking about replicas in much more detail in the later videos but for now let us touch on what type of replicas there are. Generally replicas are referred to by the type of propulsion they have in that what makes the BB fly out of the barrel. There are four main category of airsoft propulsion systems. One AEG or auto electric gun, two gas, three spring and four HPA or high pressured air. First category, AEG, Auto Electric Gun. This is probably the most famous category in that most airsoft replicas you will come across are AEG. Almost all the type of assault rifles you will come across are AEG. Please note that there is a subcategory of AEG and that is AP or Auto Electric Pistol. These are pistols that use batteries for propulsion. Second category, Gas or CO2. This generally refers to pistols and it is the main propulsion system of pistols that you will meet out on the field. Third type of propulsion, spring. The snipers are almost all spring action. There are a few AEG types and gas types but most you will encounter in the field are spring. Another type of replica that solely relies on spring action are shotguns. They practically all are spring. Despite this, there is also very cheap airsoft clones that are, by the airsoft community, not even considered airsoft replicas. They are spring pistols, four type of propulsion system, HPA or high pressured air. These are generally used by very experienced players. They work very similar to paintball markers. They use a cylinder of high pressured air to propose the BB out of the replica and are quite reliable. Unfortunately in Ireland you practically will never come across a HPA system because they cost a lot and are really not that popular as of yet.